Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Brenda's Agendas. Brenda's Agendas, you can tell I'm not awake. So, this will be part four and the final episode for Amtrak Auto Train leaving from Lorton, Virginia to Sanford. We just arrived in Sanford, Florida about 9.30 this morning, which was about 30 minutes behind schedule. We kind of sat on the train for about 15 minutes before we were allowed to get off. You can see Sanford Train Station very similar to Lorton. Uh, in the distance there, you'll actually see the freight cars. That's where the vehicles are stored. They actually, fun fact, which I did not know, is they actually disconnect the vehicle train cars, then drive them around to here where they put the ramps. I'll try to zoom in for you guys. Put the ramps and then they drive the vehicles off. And they park them right there. Then they'll make an announcement overhead with what numbers they've pulled off. And then you can go and pick up your vehicle. So we'll hang out here for a few minutes so you guys can see what that looks like. So it has been about 30 minutes from when we arrived in the station to the first time they pulled the first vehicle off. Now they will pull priority vehicles off first. That's an extra charge. I think it's about 60 bucks if you want to be one of the first cars to come off. Other than that, you just wait until your vehicle comes off and then they'll call your number overhead. If for some reason you're not with an earshot, they do also have a board that is inside the terminal that you can kind of look at and see which numbers have been pulled off. You can see that vehicle coming off right now. And then they pull it up into the lane. PX means you've paid extra and it's priority. So they pull your vehicle off first. I chose not to pay the extra fee. So it'll be interesting to see how long before I get my vehicle. Uh, while we're waiting, just to show you guys, kind of fill you in. Uh, I decided to do my time down service last night at 10. So I literally went, took a shower, and our little steward guy, I guess is what you call him, came in and made my bed and put sheets and pillows and drew the curtains. I slept very well. The motion of the train did not bother me at all. Uh, I even got up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and in my pajamas just went to the bathroom no big deal <laughs> uh, it was well lit once you got out of your little room so you didn't have to worry about tripping and then this morning when uh, you wake up and you want your bed made and put back into the chair so that you have a seated position to have breakfast you just push the little call button he comes puts everything away for you takes care of your trash um, I did that while I went upstairs to the dining car, got breakfast. They did have a continental breakfast this morning from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Um, and it was grab and go. So basically they had cereal, bananas, milk, orange juice, coffee, and some pastries. I grabbed a cup of coffee. I brought some snacks with me. So I had a protein bar and uh, opted not to do any of the food, but if you want to you can partake of that too as you can see like that car is 287 so that is not priority uh, so now the regular vehicles are coming off very efficient system i have to say um, i am glad that i did the auto train i probably would do it again it was nice not to have to drive you know all day and all night um in the dinette car, they did have music if you wanted to pipe music in. Of course, all of us with our cell phones probably use headphones and our own music selection. Which, of course, last night I watched YouTube videos because that's what I do. <laughs> um, but it was a smooth ride. There weren't any problems. Um, some of the people that I met on the train super friendly. Um, again, dining car is kind of open. Minimal seating due to COVID. It is required that you wear a face mask at all times, even while you're in your sleeper car. 
Uh, they did make an announcement that they, you do, if you are in coach, just FYI, that you do have to wear your mask all the time, including while you're sleeping. Um, they did say that in the dyna or in the sleeper car, sorry, that you needed to wear your mask as well, but I just locked my door and took my mask off. I'm not even going to lie, because I don't think I could have slept all night with my mask on. Um, but it wasn't bad. It was fun. It was relaxing. I definitely would recommend if you get the chance and you're in that vicinity where you could take it from, you know, Sanford, Florida to Lorton, Virginia, or vice versa, Lorton, Virginia to Sanford, Florida. I will have about a three and a half hour drive after I get my truck. Uh, down to Key Largo, which is where I am. My final destination is. That's where I'm relocating. Uh, much better than the 18-hour drive I was originally going to have to do if I would have chose to drive the whole way. So, I don't know, six hours for me uh, was very appealing versus the 18. So, yeah, I would recommend it. The staff here seem incredibly helpful. You can ask questions and they're more than welcoming. In fact, when I told them I was a YouTuber, they were like, okay, well, here's where you can go. Here's where you can't go. So that was kind of cool. Uh, while we're waiting, I just wanted to see if my truck would actually come off while I was on video. But while we're waiting, I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for stopping in. Obviously, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when I have new content available. Uh, it is a huge help to me. I am hoping to uh, continue this channel and show you guys some other things and places that I visited, restaurants, activities that I do. All, all kinds of really great things are coming, I promise. Uh, my goal is to at least upload once a week. And obviously, once I get to the magic thousand, then I will be going live so that you guys can uh, see what, where my daily adventures are taking me. While we're waiting, huge shout out to my senior executive, PR director, AP. Of course, without her, none of this would be possible. Also, I, I am going to reel in another friend to do some video editing for me so that moving forward you guys don't have to watch these in parts and then obviously as I learn the videos will get better the there won't be several parts I'll add some text but it's a learning curve so uh, I wanted to get this information out to you guys in hopes that maybe one of you listening right now that's always wanted to take the auto train but maybe was afraid or just didn't do it because they didn't know how or didn't know what to expect. I hope I've answered all of those questions. Put your fears to rest and I hope that you will take the chance and do it. It was a lot of fun. Um, obviously, if you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to get back to you as quick as I can. And I will do that with every video. Um, so please don't be afraid to ask questions, leave comments, make suggestions. Obviously, please be kind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, make suggestions. Things that you might want to see. I do a lot of traveling all over Florida. so And other states. Uh, for the next two years, I'll be down here in Florida. But that doesn't mean you won't see me pop up in a different state. Or even a different country. Once COVID kind of slacks up and we can travel. I'm kind of giving it a little while. I know that some people are kind of traveling right now. But uh I'm kind of keeping mine to a minimum. I haven't been vaccinated yet because of my travel schedule. I haven't been in one spot for longer than three weeks to get both shots. And that is something else I'll post. My process in getting vaccinated in Florida and what it takes for a new resident and all of those kind of helpful tips and tricks type thing. I guess my vehicle is going to be one of the latter ones. There were 142 vehicles on this trip. Um, the conductor did say that the train that came in to Lorton yesterday had 250 cars and it took them an hour and a half to unload. So I'm assuming given 100 less cars, it'll take a lot less. 
It does take the train four hours to completely turn around. So between getting all the passengers off, all the vehicles off, all the cleaning, train maintenance, restocking, they said it takes a total of four hours. So this train actually should be on time for whoever will be leaving today to go back to Lurton. You can see that they are bringing in the next train full of cars and they will hook that up to the ramp. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys a little bit. It's so sunny, it's hard to see a little bit, I know. So they'll hook up that ramp and then start offloading cars as well. Um, they do do a video when you first check in your vehicle. They do do a video all the way around the vehicle, notating any damage. That helps them not be liable for damage they did not create. Um, when I was talking to some of the passengers on the train that had done the train before, none of them had expressed any concerns about vehicles being damaged. Uh, they did not experience, not gonna say that it doesn't happen, but in their experience, they did not report any damage from their vehicles uh, being loaded or unloaded or travel on the train. So I hope that helps. Again, any questions, please feel free to shout out. I'm probably gonna go ahead and cut this a little short because it's 90 degrees here in Florida and I'm sweating and I wanna go back in the AC. Uh, <laughs> but hey, stay tuned, there'll be more to come. I hope you enjoyed this video series. I hope it asked, uh, answered a lot of your questions and uh, try it. I, I don't think that you can go wrong. Uh, definitely wasn't a great experience for me. I would totally do it again uh, in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. So questions below. Uh, I will also place a link for Amtrak. Uh, to book the auto train in my comment section below or description box below in case you're ready to take that step and hop on the auto train. I hope everybody has an amazing day. Get out, get some sun, get some fresh air, try something you've never tried before, and hey, comment, let me know what you're trying. I'd love to know. Thanks, guys.